Hey guys, what's going on? It's your homeboy Picasso. Thanks for joining in another video. Uh, this is going to be a quick video, guys. Just going to be looking at something. As you see right here in front of me, we do have my HTC One, uh, the M7. And let's go ahead and boot this guy up. Let's let this guy boot up. Now, man, 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 I've tried so many different ways to get this done. And uh, you guys are about to see exactly what I'm referring to. There we have it guys and we are about to enter Android 5.0 Lollipop on my HTC One M7. This is the unofficial CyanogenMod 12 uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop ROM. Okay, now I was scoping around on XDA, I was trying a lot of different things. Uh, I was trying to uh, I was trying to get the device, I was trying to convert my HTC One into a Google Play Edition because I did notice on Twitter uh, there were some interesting tweets that the Google Play Editions of the uh, 1M8 and the 1M7 would be getting it this past Friday, um, but I was uh, mentioned in a tweet where HTC had uh, said that unfortunately there's still some things uh, holding them back right now, um, so the date isn't confirmed for when the Google Play editions are actually going to get the update. I was trying to convert it into the Google Play edition, that didn't work out for me. I came across a lot of uh, errors and so forth and procedures that just left me in dead ends. Uh, work for other people, but uh, for my device, I guess, you know, not. Um, but yeah, so I was on xdadevelopers.com, um, and uh, 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 thanks to XDA developer uh, Santod040, I hope I pronounced the name correctly, I noticed that he had this post up, which was the unofficial CM12 uh, 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 Android, uh, uh, sorry, the unofficial CM12 Lollipop for the HTC, uh, for the HTC One. I will have that link in the description, okay, and I will uh, post up on screen as well. And um, yeah, so far it's an alpha build, of course, very early. I literally flashed this the following night that it was uh, after it was posted, so it's only been up for I think maybe two days now. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, again, thanks to Signage Mod, thanks to uh, XDA developer Santod040. Let's get into the ROM. Let's take a look, because keep in mind it is an alpha, so there, you know, there definitely might be bugs. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here we have the lock screen, of course. Uh, this is the new uh, 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 Android Lollipop lock screen, where of course swiping from the uh, the left is basically the phone. You don't have to hold on to the phone. You can if you want, but swiping from the left will highlight the phone and you can just go like that and it will open the dialer. I love the Android uh, Lollipop dialer. It's, it's awesome. You can simply swipe between speed dial, recents, and your contacts, okay? And then, of course, go like that, tap up the uh, dialer. Now, Lollipop is known for the the uh, uh, animations and just how fluid it is. So let's go ahead and do that again. There, you see that. Beautiful. Everything comes from somewhere and you know where it comes from. So the animations are superb. I just love that. And then for the camera, you can do the same thing. You can hold onto the camera. So if you notice, you just tap it. It does tell you what direction to pull. So you can hold on the camera and you can pull like that or you can just simply hold that direction and pull and it will launch into the stock uh, uh, Android Lollipop camera. You can just swipe up to unlock. So let's go ahead and swipe up and unlock and let's take a look. This is the uh, 5.0 notifications on the lock screens, which is very cool. You can go like that, swipe them down to expand and get a better look. There's the clear all. Uh, you can tap back. You can, of course, swipe right to dismiss. This is an ongoing notification, so it will stay there. Okay, very cool, very cool. You guys know me, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the stock lock screen, but um, I am loving it. It is awesome, it is awesome. So let's go ahead and unlock. Okay, and here we are on the home screen. Very simple, it's only two pages right now. Um, I haven't really come across much bugs on this build. Keep in mind, it is alpha, it's only been up like two days. It's the unofficial CM12, a lollipop for the HTC One M7. Um, the only thing I've really noticed is that the Wi-Fi tends to chip 
out or if you don't understand what I'm saying like the Wi-Fi would disconnect randomly it's done it twice I've had this on the phone for a day now okay I've had this ROM on my device for a day and the Wi-Fi has chipped out twice so there'd be Wi-Fi and all of a sudden I try to browse a website and there is no Wi-Fi and I have to just turn it back on um, it has it has a, 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 a force rebooted once okay so it has done that once um, but other than that, everything is just amazing. There's the first uh, pull down when you drop down, you get the notification state, and you pull down again, and then you get the quick tiles. And there it is. What's not to love? It's just beautiful. Let's go ahead and bring that back. I really love the animations, it's fantastic. Swiping to the left, of course, is the brand new uh, Google Now, or not the brand new since it's been out for a little while now on the Nexus 6 and the 9, and uh, some other devices that are getting the update. But here it is, it is the uh, recently updated Google Now. Uh, Google now. Okay, so this is awesome. I have downloaded quite an amount of apps because I'm going to be pushing this ROM. It is alpha, so I do expect bugs. Like I said, uh, nothing serious right now, but I've downloaded a few games that I'm going to be uh, uh, running on this this uh, ROM just to kind of see what it's all about. Uh, of course, I did make an Android backup, um, as stated in the link below, to the XDA forum explaining with all the procedures how to install all that stuff. It is going to tell you exactly what's needed, and basically it's a very, very simple process. All you have to do is basically flash like you're flashing a regular custom ROM. It does come with the uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop um, stock boot animation or the stock CM12, uh, unofficial CM12 boot animation. There's the dialer. This is Messenger by Google. Of course, it's following uh, Material Design, so I had to get that in here instead of the stock messaging app. Uh, Chrome, uh, the camera, and of course, the Google Apps. Okay. Uh, let's open the app drawer and there it is again that animation that animation let's go back that animation it's it's just awesome so like I said I did download quite a few apps that I'm really going to be uh, pushing this ROM and seeing exactly what it's all about um, so yeah not really much I'm going to be showing because uh, it is Android Lollipop I'm sure you guys must know uh, by now so let's go in here and let's take a look so I can show you guys exactly what's going on. Uh, here you go, you do see, uh, here we go, model number is the one, signage mod version, it's 12, 2014, 11, 22, the unofficial for the M7, and the Android version 5.0. There's the baseband and the kernel, okay, which is the Lollipop uh, version 1.00. So, of course, I've already enabled uh, developer options. Let's go ahead and get that Easter egg going. There we go. There's that little uh, lollipop thing there where you keep tapping. There you go. And you tap and it keeps changing colors. That's, that's cool. I really, do, I really do like it. And then there is the, oh my gosh, the Android Flappy Bird game that I am horrible at. Horrible. I've only made it to two once and I just gave up it's 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 Flappy Bird like is is a walk in the park compared to this because I've played Flappy Bird and I've actually made it somewhere not in this oh come on see the thing is when you go when you make it halfway through you think you're there and then you tap it again and you're not <laughs> let's let's see if I can at least get one Okay, there we go. I got one. I'm satisfied. All right, I'm satisfied. So there you go, guys. I have showed uh, uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop uh, running on the HTC One M7. Uh, of course, it is again the unofficial CM12 for the HTC One uh, M7. Okay, so uh, again, follow the links in the description if you want to check it out and try it out on your own. Um, also check out XDA if you have another device who knows uh, CM12 might be put, might be uh, uh, available for your device don't quote me like I said I was just going through the forums and I came across this because I really want to experience Android uh, 5.0 lollipop and my wish came true and here it is 
Okay, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. It does go a long way, guys. I really, really, really love all you guys for all the support on the videos and, and, and the comments and sharing the videos and liking the videos. And just keep it up. Picasso Entertainment, we're here and we ain't going anywhere. Videos coming to you as often as possible, as hu as often as humanly possible. As long as I got uh, 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 cool stuff to share with you guys, it will be shared. You guys don't have to worry about that. So I love all you guys. Um, respect for all you got uh, for 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 all the love that you guys show and continue to show. Um, yeah. So it's your humble host Picasso. Hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, guys. It's Tech Time. Stay tech. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.